what's up people this is your next assembly language tutorial and in this one i'm going to be talking about how to add 232 bit numbers using tasm so uh let's get started now addition is not that difficult a problem but in this particular program why uh, it is a small little problem is because the numbers here are 32 bits in size and we're working with an assembly which is 16 bits in size so all of our registers are 16 bits in size whereas the numbers we're going to be dealing with are 32 bits in size right so uh one number cannot be stored in one register we got to use two registers for one number right so that being said uh let's go ahead and do this but before we actually uh, get started and, and write some real code uh, as i mentioned to you all before before you start writing assembly code it's very important that you that you write down the steps that you're going to follow in order to do this because this kind of gets confusing if you if you don't do it right um, so write on the steps which you would follow if this was a normal high level language program a program in c or java or whatever right so i've written the, the three main steps which i feel uh, are required in this particular program the first step we got to store the two numbers in four registers right number two we got to add the respective registers keeping the carry in consideration uh, what i mean by this is basically if i'm if i'm dividing two numbers into a lower 16 bit number and a higher 16 bit number then the lower uh, bits of the two numbers have to be added and then the higher have to be added and obviously we got to keep the carry in consideration and part three is to display the result now uh, why i've considered displaying the result as as an important part of of the program itself is because uh, it's really not that easy. You might think it's it's really easy because you know we got functions to do this in almost every language, but uh, in assembly it's not. It's not, and the code for it I would say is as complicated, if not more, than the main logic of the program itself. So uh, I'm going to be taking care of the display part a little later. For now, let me just focus on the first two parts. Uh, so let me define two variables. Uh, and three variables actually two numbers and uh, the third one would be the result so let me go ahead and do that in my dot data section my first variable so oh, I love text stuff. my second variable one 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 and let's make this two just to have some fun finally my result Nah. I like him better. And this is again a question mark, right? So, um, the basic definition is the same as what I've done in the previous tutorial. I have the I have a variable name. I have the type, which in this case is DD or defined double word. Um, we have DB, DW, and DD. So db stands for defined byte, dw stands for defined word which is 16 bits in size and dd stands for defined double word which is 32 bits in size. And if you all have problems understanding how this 8 digit number here is 32 bits in size, uh, it's very simple. This is a hex value and in the hexadecimal number system, uh, every digit is actually represented using 4 bits, right? So this 8 digit number is actually a 32 bit number. So that being said, I have my two variables. I have my result variable, which is Barney, and it's gonna hold the result um, of the addition between these two numbers. So let's get started and, and uh, split these variables into the required parts, which we will then add, right? So, so how do you do that? You have a special mnemonic called word PDR, okay? So this is a double word, double word, means two words right 16 16 bits each so what when i say word ptr dexter uh, this basically is a pointer to the last four digits right here or the least significant 16 bits of the original variable so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be moving this part to a register let's say i move it to ax right so move ax word ptr dexter is basically gonna move five six seven eight to ax right i'm gonna take another uh, uh register now and that's gonna be dx i'm gonna be storing word pdr 
texture plus up plus two. So what this does is uh, basically it, it um, goes to the next word which is there in that variable okay so what pdr dexter basically gives you the least significant 16 bits of your original variable and then to go on to the next uh, 16 bits what you do is just add a 2 here what pdr dexter plus 2 so this is not adding the value 2 to dexter this is adding the value 2 to the address of the word I mean the least significant 16 bits right so it's adding 2 to the least significant to the last bit of the least uh, significant 16 bits so that it goes to the next word in Dexter okay so now my BX has 1 2 3 4 similarly I'm gonna write my CX as a comma word PDR castle and my DX as word PDR plus two so that being said now uh, I have successfully divided my uh, two numbers into four different parts right so I gotta add the correct parts now so we start off by adding the least significant 16 bits right so I'm gonna be adding ax and cx so let's do that add ax comma cx the add mnemonic basically adds to the contents of two registers and it always stores the result in the register which is there on the left right in this case ax so what this is going to do is it's going to add ax and cx and it's going to put the result in ax all right next we go um, now obviously when we added ax and cx there might have been a carry right so now we gotta add the most significant 16 bits and you're gonna take care of the carry right so what we're going to do is I'm going to add with carry ADC BX comma DX all right and what this is going to do is going to add BX and DX with the carry which might have been generated and it's going to store the result in BX right so now let me put this in the result variable uh, move mm, let's move a result which is in this case party comma word pdr now i don't have to use word pdr over here right because i'm going to be i'm going to be moving the values uh, from a register to a variable now as i mentioned before there is no way of writing move barney comma ax okay this is wrong what move requires is uh, an, a, a register or an address or something it cannot do this right so what i'm going to be doing here is uh, I'm going to be writing move word PDR Barney comma the contents of my AX register right so the least significant bits addition was there in AX so I'm going to be moving that to Barney all right and the next thing I'm going to do is move word PDR Barney plus two and I'm going to put the value of PX here okay so this is how I'm going to put the values uh, in AX and BX. So let me just hold that for a while. Yeah, so this is how you uh, add the respective contents of the register and you store the values in the result. Now, I've done, I've completed the first two parts. I'm going to be covering this play in the next one, which is, again, really, really important. So that's all for this tutorial. Have fun. Uh, enjoy. I'll see you all next time. Bye.